Hello there, this is Denise from Something Beautiful Handcrafts. And this right here, this, is the Parendale from the Parendale Breed Study. And if you've seen the Breed Study, um, you will see this completed at the end of the Breed Study. And what I'm making is a lace collar and pattern, the lace collar pattern number one. This is a historical pattern. It's from the book uh, Homework. And, ooh, I had it on the top of my head. I believe Homework was printed in the 1860s. Well, I can't remember if it was the 1860s or the 1840s, but however, it's a Civil War era pattern. And uh, of course, that's what makes it historical. And you can get the pattern um, as was originally printed through the archive.org. You can actually download the entire homework pattern book. And the homework book is the same one that I found the pattern for um, the uh, tidy that I did a couple of months ago. So that's in there. You can download the complete book, homework, from archives.org. Um, or you can just get this portion of the pattern. There's a website called knittingand.com. And basically what that wonderful person did is go through some of these historical patterns and rewrite them in today's language. And it also gives you an opportunity to compare because some of the patterns are pretty much spot on and some have a few things changed that give more clarity uh, to the this modern period. But either way, um, you can do both those in order to access this particular collar. Okay, so this pattern is actually really straightforward. Okay, it's really straightforward. There are no... Um, odd or difficult stitches that you need to know in order to do anything just the usual knit purl yarn over knit two together and when i was knitting it it actually reminded me of the uh what is it called the eight godmothers that i really love to work with okay it's, it's got that finger down on it and this is short rows but for these short rows you do not wrap and turn and so when I first saw that and it said that you turn leaving three stitches unworked and do not wrap, I was like, okay, that's odd. But what it does is it opens up these holes right here where um, a wrap and turn would have brought that together. So when this is all done, there'll be a, a row of holes, decorative holes across the top here. Um, the... The pattern doesn't really say what yarn to use. It says that you can use it with fine thread and whatever the appropriate needles are for that thread or uh, thicker yarn and larger needles. So of course, if you're using larger needles, uh, you'll have less repeats in each one of these finger sections. <laughs> um, these tips are a repeat. If you're using thicker yarn, of course, you may not need as many repeats. If you go on Ravelry and you look up this lace collar pattern, there are about 12 different completed ones, and you can see how very different they come out based on the yarn used, the number of repeats, and how um, wide it was blocked. Okay, so for the Paradell, I decided that I would go ahead and use the 8. And I could pretty much guess for you what this is, maybe a sport weight or something like that, but I decided I want to use an 8. And I'm kind of thinking I wish I had used a 9. But so far, I have four repeats, and it's not quite blocked out yet. So I'm thinking that the 12 repeats is going to be about right. And once again, I forgot to turn off the notifications on my phone. I'm sorry about that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then I will show you what it looks like. Then I'll block it and show you what it looks like, give you a better idea of how it will turn out with the size yarn I have, the needle I used, and the number of repeats.
here it is uh, completed and uh, not blocked so I'm calling it completed not actually finished I did 14 of these um, and not because I'm a big girl but more because of where I wanted to sit on my shoulders um, I have kind of wider shoulders uh, because pretty much I've been an athlete most of my life and so for my body frame my shoulders are wider and uh, so things are gonna sit a little differently depending on you know where I had positioned it and I wanted it not quite so much on my neckline like a collar collar but a little sitting a little off more like a shawl so I, I could have gotten away with uh, 13 I probably could have even gotten away with 12 if I was making it more collar like but I wanted it more shawl like and I just wanted to make sure that it didn't rise up too much in the back so I went ahead and did 14 I I'll be happy with that and then I, I made a little front piece I guess it's kind of like a placard and so that when it is blocked this will lay over top of this and they'll meet here and that is where I'll put that pen because you know I always hate when you pull you have that overlap and it kind of looks like that but if I made the placard then it just sits here and joins the pattern okay so now I'm gonna block this and I was thinking about this as I was finishing it up that uh, I'm not even sure I have the blocking boards with me I don't even know what I did with them when I moved uh, so <laughs> I'll try to figure out how I'm gonna block it and that will uh, really determine how aggressively I plan to block it uh, definitely out with the points here and not so much at the top really that's not uh, the most interesting feature to me but definitely these stretching these points out give them something a little more dramatic so I'm giving it the wash here and I'm washing it out in my own hair shampoo and I probably would wash it out in Dawn too but I'm upstairs and the Dawn is downstairs so uh, this is what I have uh, I don't want to stretch the neck out here and so I'm just pretty much holding on to the neck right here and I'm just going to squeeze and stretch you can see it's already stretched out a bit just from the way of the water and I'm gonna give that some tugs and kind of stretch that out from this end down here squeeze I'm doing this in relatively hot water because I actually do want to full it some squeezes and then I'll take both hands and kind of pull it and stretch it then I'll rinse it in hot water and rinse it in the cold water and get ready to lay it out now, of course, whether you use hot water or whether you're squeezing, things like that, that really depends on the fiber that you have. I mean, if you're using like pure merino and you've got something like mittens, you don't want to keep rubbing it like that. You'll felt it. You'll felt it. You will. But in this case, uh, this Perindale is a Cheviot cross. And so, in the Romney felt, Cheviot is really not very likely to felt. So, I assume that this too is, you know, not going to fell up on me on the big ball from this little bit of agitation. Just something to keep in mind. Now this is just from the washing. Uh, you can already see that it's dramatically different already. So I'm going to go ahead and spread it out a bit more as much as the space on my board will allow me to and pin it down, let it dry. Here it is. Okay, for me, this is essentially finished. This is as far as I plan to block this. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do about the closure yet. Um, we'll see if this is even something that um, that I wind up using. Because, like I said, a lot of times I just I make videos uh, for particular projects and basically for historical reference. So, um, I don't really know how I plan to finish it. At any rate, this is what it looks like for now. Uh, keep in mind that you, of course, can use this pattern um, not only as the collar itself, but uh, there's provisions for a neck warmer where you could add more stitches here, or you can use this as an edging 
on um, a different collar or a different uh, piece of, you know, item, whatever it is you're making, you can use it as an edge for that. Okay, I just want to thank you for watching. If uh, you're not a subscriber, please uh, click the subscribe button and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you're interested in seeing the hand spinning video breed study for the Perindale uh, fiber for this particular yarn, I'll put that in the link below. Have a great day.